Okay. So here, an incredible place just south of Osi Sagdin, called Mezu Montes. Basically means in between the mountains. This complex of Domus de Llanos, of uh, pretty large. I'm guessing 18 or 20 tombs, uh, complex chambers, Papagean chambers. It's the first time we visit this place. So let's go and explore. In this tomb, there appears to be a shelf that goes from here all the way around. Wraps around here. And you can see on the shelf these incision marks here, 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 and if you follow over here, also here. Also, if you keep following back here, amongst the chorus of flies above my head, you can see there are some divots. I'm not sure if these were made by them or this is just over time. Because these tombs were reused again and again for thousands of years by shepherds and other cultures up until recent times. Now we're going to go and see the most important and most impressive domus. There are maybe two or three other incredible domus that we're going to see. So let's go. Going to number two. I've never seen what's inside, so come with me. And we're gonna explore together. All right. It's a little short. I am not. In this entrance, you can see a lot of the carvings that you would usually find in a Domus Dianus. For example, here we have the, the horns of the bull. Typical of the Gozieri Domus Dianus, and many of the symbols that are typical of these tombs. Okay, inside it's quite dark. It's getting quite late, so we have to hurry up. So follow me. Here I'm sitting quite comfortably in the main chamber of the Stones of Dianus. Here above my head, you can see the large bull horns. Very symbolic. They're almost everywhere. There's all sorts of designs on these two columns here and around the entire ceiling and walls. All sorts of geometrical shapes, zigzags, and bull horns. Beasties, insects. This tomb is big and it's really cool. So, come this way. Wow. This chamber is really big. <laughs> okay. Here I want to point out. In a lot of these tombs, you have these dividers here that separate different sections of the tombs or the, the different chambers. So you can see this here. And also, along the wall, it's not always visible, but here you can see it, is the red ochre paint that would have been probably really vibrant in all of the tombs very symbolic 
artifact, some of the bones in the past all around the Mediterranean were covered in this ochre red paint. You hear? You can see some of it here. All right, I'm gonna descend into this main chamber here. In this tomb, just like the other tombs adjacent to this site, you have this almost portal looking part of the main chamber. Uh, the symbol of the bullhorn is not so visible. It's a little visible here, but not as visible as, as the one before. Also these very symmetrical geometrical shapes like squares all over the tomb. This tomb would have been created during the Otsieti culture, but reused and reused and reused for thousands of years by several different cultures up until the modern period. 